thank you for the recognition of the good work of the councillors and management of KMC over the past five years. Thank you for believing in our vision. Thank you for accepting and validating our plans for 2023 to 2027. I wish to congratulate the people of Carnifin Municipality and Gambians in general. This election cycle represents the second multi-party local elections concluded in the last 20 years, where for the most part, all parties and citizens were free from the yoke of an autocratic regime. During the elections, voters were able to vote for their candidates of choice. This is one more step towards a free and democratic Gambia and will surely strengthen our nation. During the elections, voters were able to vote for the candidates of their choice. During our campaigns, we listened to the dreams and aspirations of the people. We heard the needs of the people for a council that is even more attuned to their needs of a people who are hungry for development. I want to tell you that I have heard you. We have heard you. I am overwhelmed by the trust you have placed in me to grant my councillors and I such an overwhelming mandate. This council will strive every day to fulfill the promise to the people of KM to make this next term one for the record books. I therefore recommit to wake up every single day to do my utmost to deliver on our plans and to accelerate the growth we have previously registered. This new term will be shorter and will expire exactly in four years' time. As such, I use this opportunity to call on my fellow councillors and the staff of council to collectively rise to the challenge, to work together even more closely for our common master, you, the people of KM. Over the next four years, we will also call on the government to be our partner and our collaborator. We will do our utmost to work with the government so that together we can demonstrate to the people that through unity, we can develop even faster development. In the next term, we will focus on road infrastructure development within the municipality, development of low-cost municipal bus transport service, to construct affordable housing to ease the congestion and rent burden of the less privileged, to mechanize and process waste management at the Barcote dump site, to expand on market infrastructure, to increase youth engagement and participation in development, to establish a public information office to provide guidance to the residents of KM. We will continue to ask for more decentralization of functions from the central government in order to take more responsibility for the needs of the people of KM. To serve our people better and more efficiently, we will also seek to realize the changes in the relevant legislation so that council can be granted more autonomy. We invite the government to let go of authority to KMC so that we can ease its development body. This will enable the government to focus more on their oversight functions, to guide us and to assist us to increase our capacity to serve the people. The people of KMC demand more rapid development. The people of KMC deserve more rapid development. Therefore, on Monday, I will put partisan politics aside and I will call on His Excellency the President to seek his partnership to extend the collaborative arm of the Council. This I will do for the supreme interest of Gambians and for the supreme interest of our municipality. We are energized we are motivated and we are ready to work harder than ever for you, the people. Thank you once again and we look forward to sharing this journey with you. I also greet my mother, the women's leader of the United Democratic Party, Aji Sukaina Naka. Before taking my leave, I would like to with great sadness Remember my good friend, my mother, my aunt, Auntie Tukujalo. A woman of substance, a woman of great empathy for the underprivileged, who worked tirelessly to better lives throughout the country. 
I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant her Jannah to I also want to tell all Gambians from now on KMC Nyato Chikanam Four.